Welcome everybody to In The Mean Time with Wit. What's going on y'all? Hey, how y'all doing? Hopefully well. My name is Whitney. A lot of you might know me as Just Witty Online. Uh, I'm a comedian who loves people. And most of all, I'm a child of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean that. So this is called In the Meantime, right? The Lord gave me this idea maybe a couple years ago. And he was just dealing with me on literally the meantime. In life, we're expecting something, right? So the single person wants to get married. The married person wants to have a baby. The, the parent wants the child to grow up. You know, it's always something next. And even on the job, you know, um, you, you get hired in, you like, I know I'm gonna get a raise someday. You get a raise, you're like, I know I want another one. And the Lord was just dealing with me on in the meantime. What can you do with the space in between? And so, what I plan to talk about on this series is things you can do in your singleness, uh, things you can do in relationships. I'm going to talk about money. I'm going to talk about self-care. Um, I'll literally be hitting a, a bunch of things that I've been dealing with personally. So, if you think you're interested and you'd like to join, I would ask you to subscribe, like, and share this with somebody else who's in the meantime. <laughs> I hope y'all like my singing voice, because I do. <sighs> so where do I start? I'm literally off the cuff right now. I'm, I'm not going to make this first video too long, but I figured I would include you all literally in my meantime right now. So even doing this video, you know, you look at YouTube videos and, and you see the people who have extraordinary things. You know, they have cool backdrops. They have a studio. They have a camera person, a sound person. They're jamming with their podcast, X, Y, Z. And I thought about all that stuff when I was getting started. And I thought about me being on my couch. all by myself and I'm, I'm mentioning this because the subject matter for today is get started right and I'm gonna literally talk about three different things that can stop us from just getting started so what's the first step the first step is saying yes right saying yes to the assignment yes love for the rest of our day so What's important about the yes is that you say it in your heart, in your mind, and your body, right? Because when it's an assignment from the Lord, it requires all, right? I, I can't do this without my body <laughs> or my mind or my heart being committed. And so I want to emphasize those three things because it's important. And I literally, I, I did just write down some notes because... I just keep talking. I do want to read Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, who notice? It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Right? And so I love that that scripture starts with trust because to say yes to something means that I trust and I believe in it, right? And that deals with faith. Because oftentimes when God gives you an assignment, like even this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just be faithful and I'm gonna just start. I wanna pass that along to you because yes, puts my will aside and it gives God the opportunity to have his will take place in my life. So say yes, that's the first one. Number two, get started. Oh, so you say yes, you say yes to whatever the Lord has called you to. But now it's time to get started. And you know what happens when you try to get started? Distractions. D 
distractions. So even with this, like I was saying earlier, you know, I could think of all the things that could deter me from getting started. So for you, it might be the Lord just wants you to start posting more on social media. What's the distraction? Looking at other people's social medias. If I post this, will it get likes? If I post this, will the ag algorithm even bang with me? Um, will I look stupid? Uh, will anybody understand? Will people make fun of me? Um, all distractions. I think when God has um, given you an assignment, distractions are, are an indicator that you're on the right path. Boom! Because that's how the enemy do. When, when distractions come, attacks come, you'd be like, oh, I'm on the right track. So I want to impart that. You know, then you see all the distractions and then discouragement comes. It's like, you know, I done posted about five videos and this ain't really hitting five. Um, this might not be for me. Boom. Discouragement. Boom. You off your assignment. And so, again, y'all, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself as well. But I'm excited. I'm excited to get this started. Just being faithful. And so I want to encourage somebody. Because cause God, the thing about God is he's given us all such amazing purpose in this life. And the way our life shapes us and um, the glory he wants to get out of our lives. It's all dependent on our will. In our participation and so you just getting started that's huge in the kingdom I do feel like the like we teammates with heaven so I, I do be feeling like they be cheering sometimes like yes yes they posted that because that's for one soul and what I've learned is when I when I move out of ego then that's when I think about all the things that deal with myself but when I move out of being obedient right that removes the need for validation besides from the lord and so the next thing the last thing is staying in obedience Boom. staying in obedience Ugh. what i've learned about obedience is it it opens the door for god's provision and what I mean by that is when we're obedient, we give we give an opportunity for God's blessings to unfold. Right. When we do things in our will, we can make them super hard, you know. And so what it, what this makes me think about is literally um, my journey on social media. I've been doing skits since 2015 and um, I'm a post some because it's been a long journey, y'all. And um, I started doing skits because the Lord would just give me jokes. And I would see people going viral and I'd be like, man, I'm, I'm funny. I'm funny too. Anybody feel like that? My stuff is, is actually better too. But maybe you're not getting the eyes or the likes or the brand endorsements or whatever. And I think about how my first video went viral in 2021. And it was a, a prayer for my future husband. And then a lot of you saw me uh, 2022 when my wig fell off. I've been doing skits since 2015. That was seven years ago. And within those seven years, I remember feeling like, man, am I doing this in vain? You know, then the Lord would, would remind me of the one you know, one person, I want you to make one person laugh today. You could change one person's life. And that's what Jesus was about. And so it's important to know your why when you're in something. Because your why, I feel like, is tied to your obedience as well. So that could be maybe a sub. Knowing your why. But I think about if I would have stopped making videos in 2016. Like, you know what? I thought this would be different. A lot of you wouldn't even know me, right? And we never know what God will use to catapult you wherever he decides. And so 
I want to encourage you to stay in obedience. Keep keep chugging. Keep seeking the Lord. And um, watch him do what he does. And only he does. Boom! So, this wasn't too long. But as a refresher, today's, today's uh, in the meantime, was literally about getting started. So what you need to do? Say yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get started. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stay in obedience. <coughs> Jesus. Mm. So I want to end with some encouragement for those who are on assignment, for those who don't know your assignment. Um, the secret sauce is keeping the Lord included, seeking him daily, asking him questions, being curious, because it's so fun. It's so fun when you include the Lord and get to know him better. And so yeah that that's all i got y'all this is my first installment let me know in the comments uh certain things you want me to talk about so i plan to be here every monday that is my commitment to youtube I'm super excited to see whatever the lord gives me during the week i'm just going to share and uh we're gonna have some fun building community within the meantime i can't remember how i sung it earlier um, but like, subscribe, and share with anybody else who you think could benefit from this video. Peace and love. So this this how this how it look when you when you don't want to get started with something. So hey, Whit, how you um how you doing with that uh that business the Lord told you to get started? Huh? What you say? Yeah, you remember you told me last year that um, the Lord was dealing with you on a business it was like a invention or something um yeah you know i i started but I, um it was the llc and in the well you know to 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 uh get started i i actually started a business i could help you with that oh you can't well you know not only the llc but i you know with my job i ain't really had the time well, you know, you create time for what you want, sis. And it probably could be world changing. Ha! Ah. 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 Ha! Ha! Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to pray for you. Because I don't know I don't know how I feel about them sounds coming out your mouth like that. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to put you on a prayer list because that sound I ain't never heard from you. Well, thank you, sis. Thank you, because I, I do need some prayer in this area because the fact is I'm kind of scared. Oh, fear. Probably some doubt in there too, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to pray for you, sis, because uh, what do the words say? I can do all things through Christ who strength strengthens me. I know that scripture. Keep me lifted. All right, sis. Yeah, I don't think I'm crazy, do you? Da 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 da